Hi guys, there's been a bit of a discussion going on about whether there's a difference between MP4 and movie files um, produced by the Mavic Pro. Some seem to say that the MP4 files play smoother than the movie files. Um, so I've just got the Mavic Pro turned on on my desk, connected to the remote. Um, so I'm just going to hit go fly. So at the moment, that is looking at my MacBook Pro and my Land Rover, which you've probably seen in another one of my videos. Um, I'm getting compass errors and all sorts. I'm su surrounded by electronics, so it's not very surprising. So at the moment, my video is set to, I suppose we could sort the exposure out if we really wanted to. Yeah, you know, this is only for example, so it's no big deal. So there we go, we're focused on the screen, we're in exposure, I'm not gonna worry about white balance or anything like that. So video size for me is, I always film in the 4K UHD, which is 3840 by 2160 at 25 frames per second. Um, video format at the moment is movie, just move it up so you can see that a bit better. Video format is movie. Um, if you look in there, you have a choice of movie and MP4. PAL, because I'm in the UK. White balance is set on cloudy, but it should probably be, oh, maybe that doesn't look great. I'm indoors, so it should be set on incandescent, but even that's a bit blue. I know I said I wasn't going to do the white balance, but I'm quite fussy. There we go, that'll do 3200 for the white balance. My style is custom, I run minus two, minus two, minus two, and color decently like. Um, you can run D log as well, it doesn't really make much difference. Anyway, so for this example, all I'm going to do is I'm going to record a clip in MP4, I'm going to record a clip in movie format, and then I'm going to go in and look at the bitrate on both of the clips just to see if there is any difference in the amount of information that's retained. I'm fairly certain that there isn't, but sometimes it's good to test these things just so that you can uh, prove it to yourself. So we'll hit record. Um, I know that there's no storage space on my tablet for video cache. I need to turn it off on this. I've turned it off on my phone already. But um, yeah, so we'll just let it record for I don't know, five seconds, something like that. Um, so that's creating files now. That'll do for my example. Then we're going to open the settings and we're going to change the video format to MP4. We'll close that down. Again, we'll hit record. Um, once this is done, I'm going to shut down the Mavic Pro, pop the SD card into my MacBook. We'll open them both up and see if there's any difference in the bit rates of the two files. So there we go, we've got a bit of MP4. I like to record in movie format, so we're gonna go back to that. And now I should have an MP4 file and a movie file. I think I've still got all my files from the other day as well. Um, but we're now gonna exit out of the DJI Go app. Don't need that anymore. Gonna shut down the Mavic Pro there so that's shut down now and I'm gonna shut down the right so there we go that's the recording part of it done so I'm now gonna pull the SD card which if you don't know is hidden behind this tiny little flap on the right hand side so there we go there's your SD card in there and then, somewhere, then I have an SD adapter. I'm just gonna pop that into the SD adapter and then pop that into the side of my MacBook Pro. So the rest of it now, I'm gonna show you using screen recording of my MacBook Pro. Now we're gonna open up the memory card. 
That's the DCIM folder, the 101M media folder which holds my latest files. And here you can see the two files from tonight that I've recorded. And we're going to open these up in VLC media player. Now this is playing and you can see we've got an input bit rate of 58,843 on this file. So we'll just let that one finish. That's kilobytes per second, so that's 58.8 megabytes per second on the movie file. Then on the MP4 file, there we are. again we're going to open that in VLC Media Player. The MP4 file, the input bitrate is settling down now around 58, 59 megabits per second. So Mavic Pro is recording in variable bitrate, um, but it's mostly sitting, there you can see, at 59.590, which is 59.59. Um, and the movie file, once it settles down, is settling down to 58.59-ish. So, the bit rates on the file types are exactly the same. Um, the size is exactly the same. The codec details are exactly the same. There are absolutely no differences whatsoever. There is absolutely no difference between the files apart from the extension. Um, and to prove that point just a little bit further, I'm going to rename this file to a movie file. I'm going to use .move. Then I'm going to open that up in VLC Media Player as well. So this is exactly the same file, window, media information. And you can see the codec details are exactly the same and the bitrate is exactly the same. Um, so MP4 and movie files are completely interchangeable. There's absolutely no difference whatsoever between the file types used or recorded by the Mavic Pro. Um, the only difference between them is that the Mac prefers movie files as a native file type and that Windows will prefer your MP4s. Um, so choose your file type based on the computer that you're working on. There's absolutely no quality difference between them whatsoever. Thanks for watching. I hope this has been useful and informative. Um, please share, like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up or if you have any questions leave it in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Cheers. Bye.